With the Z Modeler brush selected, hover over an edge and press spacebar to open up the Z Modeler Edge Action menu. Locate the Move Infinite Radius action. With this action selected, you'll have a series of targets down below. To start off, let's select the Edge Loop Complete action. Returning to your model and simply clicking and dragging on an actual edge will perform the Move Infinite Radius action. Now, the difference between this Move Infinite Radius action compared to some of the other Move actions in here is that the Infinite Radius is not going to look at your brush size or create any fall off as that Move action is being performed. So if you have the target of Edge Loop Complete selected and you perform this Move Infinite Radius action, it is going to move that entire Edge Loop. Now another option when you're actually performing the action is if you're clicking and dragging, if you hold shift, it will actually switch from move to a slide action, which will allow you to slide that actual edge loop like so. Now holding spacebar to go back into the Z Modeler Edge Action menu, you have a few more targets down below. So we've been using Edge Loop Complete, you have another target which is Edge Loop Partial, which will look at the actual edge loop until it comes across an extra ordinary point or a point that is not connected by four edges. And then finally you have the target of poly loop. With the target of poly loop selected, if you come across an actual edge on your model and click and drag, it will perform that move action across the entire poly loop. This action can also be performed by using the shift function to actually perform a slide. So if we come across and click on this actual edge and start dragging, but then start holding shift, it'll actually start sliding those edges and giving you an effect like this. So using these different move actions, you can come across and start changing topology on your actual models, and then use other Z-Modeler actions to come through and apply different effects along the surface.